So about a year ago I did not have this studio yet and I was shooting my videos mostly outside and I was shooting this one video in the park, it was a sunny day, so I just set up my camera on the tripod, I screwed on the ND filter, set up my exposure perfectly the way I wanted and then I started rolling and I was talking to the camera for about 7, 8, 9 minutes or something like this and I didn't notice any issue. But as soon as I got back home and I looked at the footage I saw that I had a lot of fluctuations in the image brightness throughout my entire shot. And that was because it was actually a partly cloudy day and as the clouds were rolling across the sky my image was getting darker and also more blue and as the sky was getting clear again my image was getting brighter and more warm. And this kind of thing can really really ruin your shot. So I figured out a way to mitigate this in Adobe Premiere Pro by setting a bunch of keyframes for temperature, tint and exposure in the Lumetri effect and then compensating for the changing ambient light doing that. And I actually have a video on my channel from that time when I was explaining how to do it in Premiere but the problem with that is that this process is extremely tedious. It's very very tedious and painstaking and there's a lot of eyeballing because you have to compare those images by just looking at them. Yes you can help yourself by looking at the Lumetri scopes but even though there's a lot of eyeballing in order to get the shot to look just right. So I figured out how to do it automatically and I wrote a plugin for Premiere Pro that can take care of all that for you completely automatically. So the plugin is called Light Equalizer because it's supposed to like equal equalize the changes in the ambient light and let me show you how this plugin works in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. So here is another shot that I'm going to demonstrate this plugin on and as you can see I was just shooting this at home and the natural light was coming from this direction and at first it was all right but then as I scrub through as you can see right around this point the image gets darker and a little bit more blue and then it kind of goes back again. So I needed a way to kind of compensate for that. So let me show you how you can do it automatically with this plugin. So let's go somewhere here and then I'm going to open the plugin by going to window and then extensions and the plugin is called light equalizer. So I'm just going to click on that and the plugin opens up right here. And as you can see, it only has two options to analyze forwards or backwards. And then you can choose your keyframe step because in some shots you may want to add keyframes very close together and in some shots you may want to spread them out. For instance, here the default value is 24. So with a time rate of 24 frames per second, you're going to end up with having Lumetri keyframes on exposure, temperature and tint every second of the clip, but you can adjust it to your needs. And the option to analyze backwards and forwards looks like this. If you choose to analyze forwards, the plugin will take the first frame of your recording and then equalize the temperature, tint and exposure of every frame that follows the first one. But in the backwards analyzing mode, it will do it sort of backwards. So it will take the last frame and then adjust everything else to that last frame. So we are going to analyze forwards here and for best results what is recommended to do is to actually mask out a portion of the frame that doesn't change throughout your clip. For instance this corner right here. If you don't have such a corner no worries it will work either way. But if you do it will work way faster and more accurate. So we're going to do that by just dropping down the opacity right here and drawing a mask that looks something like this around this corner. This area doesn't need to be big and everything that is pure black will just be ignored by the algorithm. So we have our shot set up and then pretty much all we have to do is click equalize right here and let the plugin do the magic. And as you can see if I scroll down here you can see what it is doing. It is figuring out the optimal value of temperature, tint and exposure every 24 frames of your video. So it might take a while depending on your computer and the length of the clip. So you're just gonna have to wait a bit until it's done. Okay, and now it's finished. So what I have to do right now is just delete my temporary mask. So I'm just gonna delete the mask right here. And then as I scrub through this recording, you can see that there is no dip in the brightness of the image and there's no change in the white balance. It looks just absolutely perfect. And if you observe the sliders, you can see they go left and right in order to compensate for that. And all the heavy lifting was done by the plugin. How awesome is that? So if you're shooting your videos outside or maybe you're shooting your videos indoors, but you rely on natural light, even in some degree, you may end up having to fix your shot if some clouds happen to pass by by the sun or something else causes the dip in the ambient brightness. So in this situation, the plugin is going to be perfect for you. And judging by the comments about my other video on how to do that manually, I know that a lot of people would benefit from the plugin. So if you're one of those people right now at launch of this plugin for a limited time only I will actually have it on sale so if you want to grab it 
now's the time to do it. Links are of course in the description of this video. And right now, if you want to learn how to use my other plugin in order to do automatic motion tracking right in Adobe Premiere Pro without even going to After Effects, definitely check out one of these two videos and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of cool content planned. I have Premiere Pro tutorials, plugins for Premiere Pro, so it's definitely worth subscribing and give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. See you next time hopefully and enjoy the plugin. Bye.